What's going on YouTube? It's Avery TV here. Today we are on our way to Six Flags New England, but right now we're not in just your ordinary place. We happened to find some waterfalls along the way and we took a different route because we were in a different destination on our way to the park. We're currently in Massachusetts right now. I think we're right at uh, Hampshire County or we're like um, at the end of Berkshire County. I'm not entirely sure, but this is a really nice area. I got Tyler with me today. How you doing? Hey, good. How's everyone doing? Pretty good. We were informed that they were having fireworks on the last day of New England tonight, but we're not sure if that's actually going to happen. But other than that, though, I'm excited to have a Six Flags day. So without further ado, let's, let's go. Let's go. All right. We are here, folks. We finally made it to the park. And I notice a lot of people are leaving already because I, I think the water park probably just closed for the day. And... Um, it's been very hot out today. It's been like 90 pretty much all day. Some people are waiting to get picked up. They're on their way to the pick up and drop off line. A lot of people leaving. Oh yeah, must have been too brutally hot for them. So maybe that could mean we may get some short waits for Superman and Wicked tonight. Who knows? All right, everybody. We are here at the park now. We're going over the bridge. And as we were walking, many people are leaving so that's a good sign because we would not want to deal with that amount of crowds today tyler are you looking forward for a six flags day, be a great day man. hell yeah let's go all right it's about to ascend let's do this Guys, I did not expect this day to ever come at all. There is finally mist in Superman's first tunnel. This never happened since 2018, if you could ever believe it. it took them this long to do it. How was that right, Tyler? Very good. Nice surprise. I did get stapled a little bit this time, but it's not like to the point where it's like really restricting. I still got yanked out of my seat. Those strong positive Gs never disappoints on this coaster. And it is a hot one out there, folks. Of course, it's like, like, 90, it's like 92 out pretty Real much. Feel 95, but don't complain. Winter's here in six months, folks. <laughs> All right, there are so many people along Main Street right now. We got got some of the Looney Tune characters dancing right now and a lot of people are leaving the North End area and it's been pretty packed apparently today according to what I've been hearing on like social media pages and everything and earlier as we entered the park Captain Rivies and Rivers Boat Cafe was actually wicked packed now it's starting to die down a little bit yeah, it's not as bad as it was. Yeah. Grab some there for a while and check out JB's. Yeah. There's Cracks Actual Canyon. Very nice area. But if only what they're going to be doing with Goliath's spot, it's still a plot of land right now. There goes Wicked as well. It just went. That was a good time. We were gonna do Thunderbolt, but Thunderbolt looked to be probably about a good half hour wait. Probably not worth it at this hour. We were probably gonna head to Wicked to see how long the line is for that. Superman's line was probably about 25 to a half hour. Not the worst. I've definitely dealt with worse people. Oh, cotton candy stand. I didn't know they had cotton candy here. Going, oh man, that was going pretty fast on that ejector hill. 
Cyclone right now it has a minor delay of operation, so we don't know exactly what the issue is, but um, hopefully it'll be back running by the time the park's about to close. I mean, it closes literally in about an hour, so let's hope for Wicked. Guys, wow. I just got off Wicked Cyclone, and on the previous visit when we went to Six Flags New England, Wicked Cyclone was running quite slow actually towards the end and it had some pacing issues but this time we were in orange train that thing was flying and tyler and i had so much room with the so lap bar we had so much violent air time this yeah. might have been our best ride this season so far on this wow how was that tyler very good best ride ever i believe oh and also my park finally has the scan to ride to the videos and photos it's to view them actually great adventure i think already had that in set like just like when the year started but hey it's pretty cool folks we got justin and shannon here today how are you two doing good. so justin how's superman for you this one is good. and you said that today was the first day they added mist in the first tunnel on superman wow that's interesting it is a very hot one out there today so that definitely makes sense for sure because like um when it's humidity we need the mist well, of course, still to this day, Riddler is closed. And there's definitely something wrong with this ride for sure. They may have to get something from like overseas or something. It's definitely major. It's been closed since like mid-May, if I had to guess. Maybe Memorial Day, I don't know. I could be wrong. But at least Harley and Batman is running, so that's good at least. Superman apparently was down when we were about to ride it, but we decided to head to Batman and then Superman test run again. So that should be a good sign. So we should probably head to Superman, hopefully before it closes at nine. All right, everybody, we just got off Batman. We were in the very last row. How was that, Shannon? It was great. I really loved it. And it's a very solid B&M that I feel like no one in the community ever talks about. You gotta love that zero G roll. Always gets me every time. Vertical loop's even good too. It may not be the biggest vertical loop, but you do get a good amount of positive Gs on in my opinion. All right, we are back at Superman, and this is going to be our last ride of the night, and we could potentially even have the last train of the night, too. We don't know yet, but we'll see. It just had a minor delay as we were at Batman, but it finally reopened, so can't wait for that night ride. You looking forward for it, Shannon? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Well, the park is pretty much closed for tonight. It closed at 9 p.m., and to end off... We all had a night ride on Superman, though. Tyler got, like, he was probably, like, maybe the fourth to last rider tonight. Yeah, they wouldn't let me back through the gate when I tried to get through. Yeah, it's a shame. Yeah. It is what it is, but, right. um, Shannon, how was that night ride we had? It was great. We were flying. Whoa, we were absolutely flying. Like, wasn't even slowing down the spaghetti bowl. Yanked out of our seats like crazy. <laughs> it's, it's still probably, like, my number two coaster, even. It's that good. Like, I never get tired of riding it. I love the duration, the layout, like, you can't complain about that. And finally, they put Mist in the first tunnel. That's, that's crazy. They haven't done that since 2018. And I must say, it felt very nice. And it actually felt even faster ascending the second hill. Because I feel like the Mist, when the track gets wet, I feel like it contributes to train to make it faster. So, that, that was something today. Well, everybody, Six Flags New England has come to an end for tonight. And I gotta say, it was a great time. Superman never gets old. Got two fantastic rides on it. Even though my first ride, I was a bit stapled, but I still got yanked out of my seat with strong positive Gs. That never disappoints me. I did one ride on Wicked Cyclone, and that ride on Wicked was probably the best I had this season, other than April 13th, when it was running really fast in the cold. And Batman, Shannon and I, we were in the very last seat, and... It was very solid. Zero Giro always gets me each time. And the vertical loop always shines. First drop even too. It was also very packed to be seeing a lot of people like leaving the park 
So it was quite chaotic as we were trying to enter, but it was expected because the water park was very packed and it was extremely hot out. It was like 92 is the highest when the real feel is like 95 to like 97 degrees. So humidity definitely plays a big role on that one, folks. It was very cool meeting other people too. I got to see Justin for a little bit. I also got to see Shannon again, just like the last visit. And um, I also got to see a couple of my friends working at the park as well. They all really enjoy my YouTube channel and that makes me happy. Well, folks, I'm gonna end it right here. Thank you for watching. Please comment, subscribe below, and as always, peace out and stay tuned for more coming soon.